Good morning, everyone. I got my holiday mini pre-order in. Um, it came yesterday, so it's been sitting by the door just staring at me, and I couldn't wait to open it, but um, of course I want like good lighting uh, to be able to do this video and unbox it with all of you, um, so I waited until this morning. Um, also, little heads up, um, totally have an allergy attack going on, so I apologize if I sound a little um, crazy and possibly have to blow my nose in the middle of this. So um, I apologize for that. I guess um, that's one of the things about going on vacation. I'm not sure whether it was vacation that um, caused the allergies or coming back home that caused it, but either way, it's been fun. Okay, I can't wait any longer, so let's get into this because I have got to play. I'm so excited. Also, I have a babysitter coming this afternoon, so that means I might be able to actually, like, play with this stuff today, which is super exciting. So, we have bubbles. That's always the most exciting thing, right? No. Maybe for Claire, but not for me. Um, we have a little um, information piece about Paper Pumpkin. So, um, the Paper Pumpkin that is in August is very fall-themed. Um crazy to think that fall is now, although I guess I'm technically opening my holiday mini catalog pre-order, so the holidays are coming for sure. I have this. We'll go through all of uh, double checking everything arrived, okay, um, later. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to open first. Like, what are you guys loving? There's so many beautiful ribbons and you guys know how much I love ribbons. So let's just pop in with that maybe first. Look at that ribbon. Isn't it gorgeous? Like cute little candy cane stripe. It is cherry cobbler. So like a lot of things tend to be cherry cobbler or real red. Um, I don't know. Like to be honest, I think I probably tend to go a little bit more towards deeper colors in the Christmas time. So like cherry cobbler versus my normal bright colors of like real red and stuff. Although it's so crazy because real red is actually a regal now. Mind blown. Um, actually, that's not the mind blowing thing. I still can't get over the fact that Knight of Navy, Mary Merlot, and Mossy Meadow are a neutral. Like, hello? No. Um, but anyway, so super cute. Um, so let me know um, in the comments. Do you prefer like deeper, darker colors for like more regal colors like navy and um, and deep greens and cherry cobbler and like stuff like that for your holidays? Or do you like the traditional like bright red and green like um, I guess I would almost say like garden green and real red, although garden green can kind of go both ways. Um, so it just kind of depends. So, speaking of, no, this is actually Shaded Spruce. Shaded Spruce and Gold. Gorgeous. This one is Garden Green. So it's a little bit more bright colored. Although, like, I don't know. Which one's brighter? Actually, on camera right here, they almost look the same color. But they totally don't, like, to me. Maybe, maybe a little. Um, then we have the Come Together Ribbon Combo Pack. So this is more like the neutrals um, and like fall colors. Good morning, Debbie. So we have, this has, is it Cajun Craze? It actually doesn't say on this. Looks like Cajun Craze and Sahara Sand. So super fun. Um, great for fall colors and stuff, which it goes with the Come Together set, which is in here somewhere. This ribbon I'm super excited about. Look at that. Oh, there's a shine. So it says Merry Christmas in like different fonts. So there's like a block letter font, like this one. And then there's a scrolly font, like this one. And I love me a scrolly font. Um, okay. Oh, wait. More ribbons. So this one, I had no clue what it was. So I had to buy it, of course. 
and I have to pop it open. So, ooh, it's like super soft and fuzzy. So they call it, it's real red, and they call it curly ribbon. And I was like, what's curly ribbon? But see how it's like wiggly? But it is, it's like fuzzy. So it feels like, like to be honest, it, whoa, it feels like um, the stuff that I had a scarf as a child. And so we would always wear like a really thin like flannel scarf, like underneath and then like kind of tuck it into our jacket. And then we would wear these like really big knit crochet, I don't know, something like that. Um, scarves over the top that were like candy cane and it's like that material so it's like super soft and fluffy I really like it um oh and then this one is also real red and it is like a has like ruching so like down the center it's got that ruching um this would be gorgeous for a bow like come on is this not the most gorgeous bow ever? This is going to be the longest video of my life if I keep messing around like this, but that's okay. I mean, it's quite large, so it might not work very well for a card, but like, gorgeous. The, um, the way I'll probably use this on a card is like just a strip of it like that across my card and then like put like a greeting or focal point like on one end something like that okay I think that's all the ribbons for now at least we also have golden glitz copper celestial copper and silvery shimmer so we have those fun I like the copper I think it'll be fun because um, we've had a gold and silver pad in the past. Um, so, like, I enjoy playing with those and stuff, but, like, copper is, like, all new and everything. So, copper, gold, and silver ink pads. Got to add a little shine. Um, we also have, and this I'm super excited about, puff paint. I've actually never played with puff paint before. Um, so I can't wait. Also, if I'm going through any of these items and you are wanting me to do like a more detailed um, video about any of these, um, then let me know and I'll do that as one of my um, one of my two weekly uh, YouTube videos. So yeah, definitely don't forget to check me out on YouTube at Laura's Stamp Pad. If you just Google or like YouTube Laura's Stamp Pad, you'll find me. Um, I can also leave a link below. Um, okay, let's jump into Okay, let's do these boxes. Let it snow embellishment kit. Oh, if I try opening all of these, we'll be here all day. So I will probably do a full unboxing and reveal of these um, on my YouTube channel. So check those out. But they're super cute. It's like the snowman stuff. So let me see if I can find the snowman stuff. Let it snow. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm reading the greeting. Snowman season. Super cute little snowman, and there's a coordinating bunch. Isn't that super fun? So it's got, what's the little teardrop thing? So there's the snowman. I'm trying to find, there we go. There's the snowman, the arms. I almost said arms and legs, but just the arms. Then there's the hat. What is that little thing? Oh, I think it's the nose. Maybe. It's got to be. I'm not sure what else it would be. I'm pretty sure it's the notes. Um, then we have Shine Bright. I think this one will be great for like coloring and it's minimal coloring. Like, yeah, sure, that tree is probably pretty intense and could be more detailed. But like this, like a green and red marker and you're golden. So like stamp a whole bunch of those. Grab your green and red. Go watch a movie. Hallmark Channel, maybe. I've never actually watched movies on the Hallmark Channel. But people tell me they're amazing, so, like, I probably should. Um, boo to you. Okay, come on. 
aren't those adorable? Okay, he's kind of creepy. But like that little guy is adorable. I can't wait to use him. And I'm not a huge Halloween fan, but I thought this would be super cute because like I could do birthday cards with that super easy. Again, he kind of creeps me out, um, but I love him. He's adorable. Puff paint him maybe? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Um, okay, these because I love bling. Holiday Rhinestone Basics. So like there's like a yellow, a red, a green, a light green, and like a navy. I'm not sure exactly which colors all of those are. But there you can see those. Um, this winter knit 3D embossing folder. Like, look at the detail of that. Love it. Super, super exciting. It is the nose. Okay, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. <laughs> Holly Jolly Christmas. So one of the cool things about this stamp set, again, you could do some coloring with it. Um, but one of the other things is, I'm pretty sure, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm pretty sure that these all stamp together. Yes, they do. They all stamp together. And they all die cut together. So quick and simple, stamp once, die cut once, and you have three fabulous um, stockings. So I think that would be super cute. Here are the, okay, so I heard Stampin' Up say this word, and now I feel like I forgot how to pronounce it, but it's T-O-I-L-E, toil, toil, I think it's like a French word, so I'm not sure where the accent really goes, um, but yeah, red and green glittery enamel shapes, I love my glitter. Here's another embossing folder that I'm super, super, super excited about. Hammered Metal. So, like, it kind of looks like something you would see under a microscope, which kind of seems a little odd, but there is... Not in my box, I don't think. There is a super cool metallic glass paper that, I don't know, we might dig around and find it, um, that it looks super cool with. Here is Gather Together, so it goes with that one ribbon pack. Super cool. Um, I prefer more like fall stuff than Halloween, and I can use like the leaves and stuff for like September all the way to like November, so I find that to be super helpful um, and more like I can get more bang out of my buck um, for spending a stamp set like this. So super, super love that. And then the little pumpkins and stuff. And you could always like make them bright orange paper or paper pumpkin, pumpkin pie, add a face to it or something like that and totally get like a more Halloween look um, if that's what you're going for. Or you can stick with that fall look. Christmas gleaming. So fabulous little ornaments. I love that the ornaments are super detailed to where you could stamp them solid, especially in one of these ink pads, um, and get a fabulous look without feeling like you needed to color it in or something like that. But stamping like gold over cherry cobbler, ooh, yum, yum, yum. Light and peace. Super loving this. I always like to get one good um, like religious stamp set. And there's actually two religious stamp sets. I think I only got this one. There's actually two religious stamp sets this year. So I'm super excited about that. The other one is called God's, God's Grace. God's, this one's Light and Peace, and I thought it was God's Peace. And it's not, I don't think, but maybe. This one is super, super cool. I'll be doing a review of this stamp set. Um, to show how amazing it is. So this one is actually like reversible and you can stamp it both sides. So you can get that handle that goes both ways. So like I can hold a cup and you can hold a cup and they can go both ways. So they are reversible stamps. So it feels like the stamp is like all the way through and it's really sticky. So 
so it's clear, but like the holes go all the way through. So it's like the same image on both sides. I can't wait to play with that. It sounds so fun. So yeah, super exciting. Um, okay, there's some framelits. Cup of Cheer. So this is the framelits that go with that Cup of Christmas. Um, Jolly Seasons Dies. I don't remember. Oh, I think this, this goes with Holly Jolly. So that one. Um, Gathered Leaves. This one goes with that fall one, Gathered Together. For the pumpkins and the leaves. Uh, let's see what else we have. Stitched Stars. So a lot of times I don't buy a lot of um, detailed framelits for Christmas cards because making a whole bunch and running it through the Big Shot 500 times isn't always a big option. Um, so, hey Brittany, welcome. Um, but this one I just loved and the stars, like the detailed framelits, I'm going to open it. I know I said I wasn't going to open all of these and you're probably thinking, wait, I want her to open one of the other ones, but this one I'm excited about, so I'm going to open. Look at that. So there's all of these stitched stars, like all of our other stitched framelits. And then these right here are all of the points. So you can have like detailed points for each of your stars. And then I'm also super loving like this thing here. Like that would be so fabulous for birthdays, graduations, congratulations. And like look at these. That would be perfect for like corners of things. Like I'm just loving it. And I needed a star um, for anything. So the Christmas stars is what it's going to be. Yeah, can't get it back together. So there's the stamp set that coordinates with it. And okay, I think we're down to paper and embellishments. So these are tags and feathers. All I can see is feathers on the front, so I'm guessing the tags are towards the back. And I don't know that I want to open that one, but these are like those little wooden elements. They do kind of make a card a little bulky, but they're super cute as like a little tag to add to like a gift box or something. So this is the Night Before Christmas Memories and More pack. And... Trying to open it. So, whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess everywhere. So, um, these are great for doing like memories and more, um, like scrapbooking with the little pocket styles. Good morning, Valerie and Terry. Welcome. So, they're great for that, but they're also great for card making. And that's mostly what I bought it for um, because you can use this as a card. Quick and simple card. Or you could stamp a greeting in the middle of that tag and you have a quick and simple card. So, and by quick and simple, I mean like really simple and quick. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome. Ah, I thought I had scissors around here somewhere. I thought this wouldn't be so hard to open. Ah, got it. Okay. So this card pack comes with these super cute envelopes. And card bases. So they're white on the inside, which is perfect for writing in. And then you have that fabulous star card base. And I'm pretty sure they're all the same. Just want to verify. They are. So you can use the little cards that I've lost. Oh, here they are. You can use the little cards and put it in the middle. So that one I might like layer on green to make it show up a little bit more. 
or let's pick a different one that's not so red. Like super cute, quick and simple greeting. Happy everything, merry always. Ooh, red and cherry cobbler don't go together. Something like that. There's lots of different ones. Ooh, here's a really cute one. And then, huh, all of these just fell. So then you have your note card and envelope. Or you can also use these big ones. And it'll cover up the stars. But it's super fabulous too. The other option that you could always do is you could leave the stars on the back and put like maybe a little picture in there. And, oh, look at this Santa. Isn't he cute? Let's do him. And then use the back of the card like that. So, like, you could make your card like this, and then write on the inside, Merry Christmas from all of us, and then put a little picture on the back side. Super, super cute. Especially since I've seen, um, like, I know Shutterfly does 4x4s, and I would bet to say a 4x4 four four would fit there, because, like, I think this is 3x4. So, a little 4x4 four four card there would be super cute. But yeah, they also have embellishments, like stickers and stuff like that, that go with this kit. So there's a whole bunch of those, and then there's a whole bunch of the little ones, and then the note cards and envelopes. I'm going to set this aside before I make a bigger mess. Okay, the rest is designer paper. And um, if you guys want, I will continue doing the designer series paper reveals um, for each of the papers so that you can see like the full spectrum of the paper rather than seeing like the little swatch that's in the catalog. Um, then I'll do the full piece. So this is Night Before Christmas. It's a six by six pack. Um, the awesome thing about six by sixes is you can get um, a lot of like small little cards out of it, like three by three square, stamp a greeting below it you know, embellish it as you want. Um, so stuff like that. I do a lot of one sheet wonders. Um, so I could always do a Christmas one sheet wonder. I haven't done a Christmas one sheet wonder in forever. Um, so great ways to use up a lot of your paper. And this is wrapped in plaid. Here, I'll actually show you. So this has like that blue pattern on the back side, and then the trees. I would be here all day if I went through all of these right now. So I'm just going to show you the fronts and backs. This one I know has a lot of plaid. Um, and it's like all of those like blue, green, red colors. Cherry Cobbler, Night of Navy, Shaded Spruce, and White. This one is Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Poppy Parade, Pretty Peacock and Very Vanilla. So this one actually uses Poppy Parade, um, which is even brighter than Real Red. Glimmer! Loving it. So this is Real Red Glimmer Paper, and it actually seems very uncrusty. Like, it's... Yeah, it is. It's very... I know you guys can't feel this through the screen, but it's very smooth and it's not like, you know, like flakes of glitter just like crusting off all over you. So that's awesome. Especially if you're making, you know, like 500 Christmas cards and you have glitter all over you. I love glitter, but I like clean glitter. So this is that same toil tool. Toil Tidings Designer Series Paper, and all of it is, like, so this was, like, a big craze, like, for very, very old um, wallpaper, where, like, the walls had, like, a whole pattern on it, so all of this is in uh, Garden Green and Real Red, and so it's got, like, patterns like this and, like, a whole bunch of other, like, full-size patterns. It's white on the back side. Uh, with the cardboard piece, so I only have one side to show on that one. This is Brightly Gleaming Specialty Paper. Specialty paper always means that there's um, embossing or foil or something like that. So you can see, look at that gorgeous foil. 
So this is Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, very vanilla, and then I'm going to say that's copper. But it is gorgeous. There's lots of different patterns in there. Then we have the Come Together. So this has like pumpkins and fall stuff. This one you could almost color in those pumpkins to make a really cute like colored in detailed pattern. And then the last one is another specialty paper. This one is Let It Snow. And do you see the glitter on the trees? You can see the little loops of glitter. To all. To all? Did I say that right? To all? Thanks, Terry. So, yeah, this one's got glittery trees. Um, and then, yeah, it looks like just the trees are glittery. But super, super cute. I'm loving those colors, too. I love pool party. <laughs> We're all good. Um, Coastal Cabana is what color that is. But I like that, like, light blue pool party Coastal Cabana look um, for, like, wintry stuff. And then here's the catalog. So I do have um, a whole pack of catalogs coming. So if you guys, like I have catalogs going out to all my customers. Um, if you happen to not get one or you're not a customer of mine yet, um, then just let me know in the comments below and I can send you out a catalog. Good morning, Beth. Can't wait to place your order. Yeah, can't order this until September club. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely uh, be talking about it all at club in two weeks. I think it is. But um, one of the other awesome things that Stampin' Up! has done is there's a whole bunch of products, 25 to be exact, 25 products under $25. So it makes it um, a little bit more affordable to be able to do Christmas cards or holiday projects or things like that. Here's more of that two wall. Like you can see there's the green and the reds. And then there's that beautiful cardinal and stuff. And then there's some more of that um, let it snow stuff. So super, super fabulous. I do have um, I do have another box coming, I think like tomorrow or something like that. And then I also have um, more product coming with my uh, grease goodies that will be coming. Um, since we did not actually go on the grease cruise, um, then I cashed out, and so I have all of the um, goodies coming, which is a lot of the holiday mini catalog products. So, of course, I didn't order those because I know that those are coming, as well as um, bags and other fabulous treats. So I will be doing a video, an unboxing video of those. Um, the other box that I have coming was a few items, like the cat more boxes of catalogs and stuff like that. Um, so I probably won't do an unboxing of that, but I do have more products coming. A lot more. It's the whole catalog. I just ordered one of everything. If only there was like one number to enter for that, that would be nice. Um, but anyway, I will be doing more um, unboxing and reveals like the embellishment kits and um, and the all the designer series paper reveals on my YouTube channel. Again, check that out, laurastamppad.com. Today's Tuesday, so I had a video post today. Um, so you can uh, check that out. I post every Tuesday and Thursday, and then sometimes in between, like I do paper pumpkin reveals and stuff like that. So let me know what your favorite item was um, from this haul, and put it in the comments below. If you need a catalog, then you can always let me know, and I can send you one of those. And I'll see you guys all later. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. It looks like the day is shaping up a little bit better than when I first woke up. It's kind of rainy and gross. Um, but now it's like sun shining and gorgeous. Although I don't know if I really want to go outside because I don't know if it's outside or what it is that's making my allergies crazy. But um, we'll survive. It'll be okay. I'm used to it by now. Anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.